Bandai. Good morning, Grinders. C3, Eagle Fangs, Miyagi Doze. I think that's everybody, right? And any and everybody else out there who may be tuning in, maybe needs a friend. It is Wednesday. First week of July. Boy, oh boy. This was a tough one today, let me tell you. Uh, first thing, though, I want to say I'm recording with a different camera today. So I don't know how good the audio quality is going to be. I don't know how good the video quality is going to be. So if it's a little off today, I apologize for that. But uh, I had, have to use a different camera today. Uh, and now i got to admit... Today was really difficult to get up. Set the alarm for 4 o'clock. Got up. And I was able to go outside and check my pond. Uh, we have a little pond out back. And it's really muddy water right now. I put fish in it earlier. Just some goldfish. Because while we were gone on vacation, it filled up with mosquito larvae. I don't want to be contributing to uh, mosquitoes in the neighborhood. So put a few goldfish in there. And uh, it is very dirty now. So I cleaned all the filters, the pumps, and I'm hoping to uh, get that cleaned back up. The problem is, leaving the pumps and the waterfall running. I lose a lot of water, so trying to figure out the balance here, haven't done it yet. But even after doing that, going outside, and it's a little chilly out there right now, it's real hard to get up and get on the treadmill here and start walking. Really wanted to go back to bed. First real day back from vacation, even though Monday I did a workout. I didn't have to get up this early. I'm not wasn't going back to work. We had Monday off. So that one wasn't so difficult. Today, however, different story. Really wanted to go back to bed. Even though, you know, I've got some external motivation. Sold my weight set yesterday. Met a nice guy and his wife. And I really think they're gonna put it to good use. That helps motivate me to keep on my fitness journey. <sighs> but today was tough. I'm still not really pumped up and raring to go. But I gotta get back into it. Two weeks off has its effect. And to that note, you know, I changed the workout a little bit. I'm doing Bulgarian squats. My thighs have been killing me. I'm working a different part of the body has awoken it and it's saying what do you think you're doing fool so gotta get used to that again okay so that's enough random yakking from me I don't know if people like to hear this or not so but I like to share a little bit of what's going on I'm going to go ahead and do today's devotional, which I actually love this one. Big surprise there, huh? Anyway, it's an influence. The title is Preparation for Battlefield. It says, Your eye is a lamp that provides light for your body. When your eye is good, your whole body is filled with light. But when your eye is bad, your whole body is filled with darkness. Matthew 6, 22 and 23. So... Essentially what I take out of that is, you know, you are what you do, you are what you read, you are what you involve yourself in. So, if you're immersing yourself in negative things, sinful things, you're not going to get away from it. Tony talks specifically about, you know, lust and pornography and things like that. But I'm going to expand that a little bit and talk about 
the problem in our country with it being fractured. I think that has to do with politics. Because it's it's everywhere and in everything now. Uh, it's not just Sunday morning shows or daytime AM radio, which used to be where you would go for political talk and discussion. Now it's in everything. Uh, definitely the nightly news, regardless of which side you're on, you're getting doses of political opinion. Uh, mainstream TV is pushing some opinions too. Even national level sporting events are bringing politics into it. So we can't get away from it. And the country is divided. I mean, it's pretty close 50-50. I don't think it's really 50-50, I think it's more probably like 40-40 and 20 that really just don't want to be involved, they don't want to hear it, they're sick and tired of it, and that number's probably growing. But part of the reason I think our country is so fractured is because we're just inundated with that, whether we want to be or not. The one way to get away from that, I think, is to shut off social media, shut off the TV, and go do fun things with your friends and your family. Say when we were on vacation, we didn't watch any real TV. Never had the news on. Barely had the radio on. Because we were doing other stuff. And I'm going to try and keep that up here in, uh, in our daily life. So... There are so many things out there that you can involve yourself in. It doesn't take money. All it takes is your time. And it's a lot more fulfilling and rewarding than uh, watching the summer reruns at the very least. But anyway, that is my rant and my devotional for today. Uh, gotta get moving, gotta get pumping, gotta get grinding. So I'm gonna shut this off, finish a few more minutes, and then we'll meet you over in the back cave for the second day of Eagle Fang 6. So, Banzai! Banzai! Welcome back, Grinders. Okay, we are up to our third set. This is a quicker workout than uh, some of the others. That's okay. Getting back into it. It's definitely got my heart beating. And my butt is killing me. These Bulgarian squats, whoo! Waking up parts that have been asleep. So anyway, I'm not going to do a lot of yakking. I'm going to get right into it. Like I said, I'm using a different camera, so I don't know how well the audio video on this one's going to be. It is what it is. Uh, excuse me. Just had a big swig of drink. Um, I do have a question, though. Uh, I'd like to know what other people do in their daily lives to get away from the negative stuff that's out there. For me, that's the politics. I try to avoid that at all costs. Other people, you may be trying to avoid drink, uh, lustful thoughts, whatever. Whatever it is that you have to try and keep yourself away from, how do you do it? What do you do? What is your pastime? I'd like to hear that in the comments below. Other than that, I'm going to turn the buds back on and we're going to commence to grinding. Banzai! Alright, and away we go. So this is uh, only my second time doing this workout. It is a little shorter than most of my other ones. I think there's only six exercises total and uh, uh, two of them at least don't even use the tonal, just body weight. But first up, a little hard to see here, Bulgarian squats. I got one foot on a bench, um, about 20 pounds in each arm and I'm just squatting down. And uh, let me tell you, I am feeling this in my butt and in my thighs. Oh, I think almost every one of my uh, routines has had some sort of squat in it. Uh, but I haven't done the Bulgarian squats in a while. And um, I'm definitely feeling these. It's going to take a little while to get used to it. But that's a good thing. You know, uh, they say pain is weakness leaving the body. And a little bit of soreness tells me I'm working places that need to be worked. Okay, now we're going to switch it around here. And we're doing incontinence. 
incline chest flies and this is one that um, it, it works more your upper chest and the good thing about this you can do this with dumbbells or bands you know you don't have to have a fancy tonal uh, you can just set yourself in an elevated position and you're pressing up that's about it pretty simple and I actually do a few extra here because um, you know tonals le learning me in this routine and I'm learning the routine so I can lift weights up a little higher as I figure it out on those Bulgarian squats though no 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 the weight is enough on that already okay and then this one is uh, just um, hip thrust and uh, I said I was going to get my exercise ball get it inflated and do it with that I will eventually hopefully this weekend I will remember to inflate that and start using it but the bench works just as good you can use a chair anything you just put your ankles on it and uh, push up thrust up with your hips so it's to work your your hamstrings a bit uh, and body weight's a great way to do do your exercises especially if, if you haven't been exercising for a while you're not used to lifting weights body weight is the way to go now I modified this slightly it's technically supposed to be a seated lat pull down which you've seen me do many many times it's one of my faves uh, I'm, I'm doing a kneeling one instead um, it takes my weight into it a little more so that when I'm on the upstroke uh, it's not pulling me off the bench because this is getting up to about 145 pounds uh, on the up and sitting it pulls me off the bench but kneeling like this it, it can't quite pull me off the ground yet so uh, still great or I'm sorry back exercise get a little shoulders in there too so and then of course we have to go into the uh, requirements most important I really I feel like I need to add a little more bicep into this because you know I'm a guy I want to work my biceps gotta have those guns so, just some bicep curls here, and uh, good pump on them. You can see that vein start to show. Really happy with that. And this is, you know, fitness is a journey, not a sprint. It takes time. It takes consistency. Your particular numbers don't matter as far as weight goes. What matters is consistency. Making sure you get at it every day. And then the push-ups. I've added push-ups in just because I need to do push-ups. You get a little arm, get a little shoulder, get some chest in here, get a little cardio going. And uh, when, when it comes to my Taekwondo fitness test, I've got to max out my, uh, my push-ups. So that's it for today. Have a great day. We'll see you on Friday. Okay. Let's see. Uh, another 9,000 pounds. 200 more than Monday. <sighs> we took 10 whole seconds off. Woo! <sighs> ah. Let's see. Come on, roll it up. So we've done 912,000 pounds. So we're, we're creeping towards that million. So. I'm a, I'm a bit gassed, so I uh, forgot it on Monday, here's the flex, the Hogan, and the Ric Flair, Woo! feeling better now, pumped up, sweaty, ready to go, so have a great day, we'll see you back here at least on Friday. Have a great day. Banzai.